Hey everyone, today we're talking about where to draw blood on a patient. So the main thing that you want to know is that we're mainly going to do venous um, blood draws. Arterial blood draws are mainly for blood gases and we're not going to talk about that today. So if you look here, you can see the blue lines are going to be the veins that we're talking about. Uh, the two that we're mainly focusing on are the median cubital vein, uh, which is pointed here, and then we have the um, median cephalic uh, vein. And so your first one that you want to try to use is the cubital, the median cubital, and um, that is because it's also known as the median vein, by the way, um, but this is because it's more stationary. It's going to be less painful for the patient. It's going to be probably the most uh, prominent vein on the uh, arm in the fold of the arm, and it's also going to be less likely for you to have a difficult stick. Okay, if we can't get um, blood from this vein, we're going to go to the other one, the cephalic vein, and then if we can't get it on the arm at all, we can go down to the veins on the hands, um, the tops of the hands, and then uh, for a baby that's less than one year old, we would do a capillary. Uh, uh, stick um, capillary puncture on the heels uh, and it's called a heel stick you want to uh, do it on the edges there noted by the circles um, if it's a baby that or um, a child that is older than a year old you can also use the fingertips you can also do that with um, elderly patients or adults that you're having a hard time uh, getting a venous stick on the arm or the hand uh, right under the uh, wrist right here where you see all those beautiful blue veins you're not going to use those okay um, and the reason we don't use specific veins are because of nerves that are located near the veins okay and so we don't want any complications or uh, cause the patient to have unnecessary pain so why is this important well it's important because you want to know uh, where you're going to draw blood and uh, where therefore you're going to put the tourniquet so here I have a fake arm that we're going to practice phlebotomy on and as you can see there's bumps uh, that are elevated, these lines uh, are put into the the arm and it's just tubing uh, that we put fake blood in. Um, but I have the tourniquet appropriately placed here. So if we were going to the median um, vein, we're looking at, um, this arm is actually pretty weird because the crook of the arm is in a, a weird spot. It's like it's turned and not at the same time. It's also very short. <laughs> So uh, we're looking at um, maybe it being right here, okay, because that's the most prominent one. Um, it all depends on how you look at this arm, um, but the two main ones that we would be looking at are here, okay, so the cephalic vein and the median cubital. Okay, so we're going to try to use those. So I did this right in regard to um, you put the the tourniquet uh, roughly three to four inches above the draw site, okay? You press around to see if the vein is um, going to pop back when you press on it. And if it does, that means that's a really good vein um, to use if it's hard um, or seems um, kind of knotted or something, don't use that vein. Okay, so this one seems good. And so we'll end up using that one in our venous puncture or vena puncture. Okay, I just wanted to show you why the veins um, are, why do we know the veins and why do we look at the veins before we actually do this. So the next video I'm going to do is on how to put the tourniquet on and then we'll continue after that on how to use the um, the different uh, systems that you can do in order to get a vena puncture blood draw. All right, thank you so much for watching and check out the next video on the tourniquet application.